What's up, everybody? This is Tony Mario Brother back again with more Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we got through a lot of Bowser's Castle, and in this part, hopefully, we're going to be doing the same thing. And I remember, um, in the last part, we got into this main hall place. Sorry, I forgot what I was going to say there for a minute. Anyway, in here, let's see a Spike Kuma. Ah, kill it! What? Who are you, man? I don't know your face. Maybe you're Mario, huh? Hehe, <laughs> just joking. I'm the guard of this warehouse. I'm really, really bored, man. Hey, you know, if you've got any coins, I'll sell you stuff. Oh, you're loaded, man. Take a look around. Now, you can buy some stuff here if you don't think you're quite ready for the rest of the dungeon, but I think I should be okay. Plus, stuff here is, like, really, really expensive. Mysteries costed one coin in the booze match, and, and they cost five coins here, so everything's, like, three times as expensive. Whoa, Bowser. Blue flames? You really go out go all out with that decorating, don't you? And by the way, I remember in the Wii version, the flames didn't have those bright blue centers in them. They look different in the Wii version. I think it actually looks kind of, like, cooler here. Anyway, let's go down here and see what there is. Spam spin dash. And apparently there's an enemy and a jail cell. I wonder how we can get into that jail cell. Come on, I want to tornado jump you. Come on. Come the frick on. Seriously. There we go. One coup patrol, simple, short, and easy fight. And we get the prison key. Let's go ahead and open up this jail cell here. Go in here, and we've saved more toads. I'm so proud of myself. What do you have to say? Psst, psst. The toad house is slogan is refresh your body and soul. This isn't really a toad house. But you can take a quick nap here if you feel like it. Or you're going to take a nap. These are difficult times. Please rest well, though. And evidently, um... A slab of stone serves the same purpose as an actual bed does, which begs the question, why can't Mario just fall asleep anywhere and restore all of his HP and everything? That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, go ahead and spam spin dash up the stairs. And there's only one more room that we can visit in this main hall, the room on the top right of this staircase. Hmm, let's see. What is there to talk about? Hmm. Well, in this hall, there's a whole bunch of annoying fights, and I can't really talk about anything because I'm going to have to cut out so many fights. Yay! Okay, I fought two battles, and I'm going to bypass that last enemy just because it's so freaking annoying to fight all these people. And here we have a really long, kind of difficult puzzle. But what is there to talk about? I guess I could talk about something that I recently found online or something. I don't know. Let me think... Oh, I was looking at this one forum the other day, and um, I saw somebody complaining about how they didn't really like Super Mario Galaxy 2. It might have been on a stream or a forum. I was looking at both of those in the same day. Anyway, they, they were complaining about how Super Mario Galaxy 2 didn't do quite as much as they, as they had expected it to do. As in, they were like, oh, Starship Mario was no Delfino Plaza, and like... The spinning wasn't as creative a mechanic as I expected, and uh, it was just Galaxy 1 with more polish. Well, I agree with the first thing. Starship Mario could have been more. I mean, I love Delfino Plaza. It's my favorite hub world in the Mario game. It's just... The, the spin thing... Well, people complain about... Oh, Super Mario Sunshine wasn't exactly like Super Mario 64, and... It... It's just kind of weird, because Super Mario 64 2 would have been the same thing, just with more levels. And Super Mario Galaxy 2 is basically get, um, fulfilling that need. It was basically fi fixing the original Super Mario Galaxy experiment and everything, so... I don't get what they were, they were complaining about. They they were like, oh, the spin wasn't satisfying enough. It's, it's a basic Mario platformer, except the spin... The spin was just there as an added bonus, and it it was actually utilized quite well in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Like, in one of the galaxies, you had to wall jump off a thing and spin, and then wall jump off the next thing and spin, and it kept changing all the walls and everything. I mean, I'm not going to say too many spoilers, but I think the spin worked well. I do agree with the Starship Mario part, though. That hub world was just pretty small. Except it, you could kind of do more things in it as opposed to the Super Mario Galaxy 1 hub world, where all you really did was, like... It, you didn't really do much in the SMG1 hub world, you just kind of, like, ran around and went to the different worlds, and 
in Delfino Plaza in Super Mario Sunshine, there were actually shine sprites that you could get, and blue coins and everything. Uh, while in the Super Mario Galaxy 1, Super Mario Galaxy 2, they didn't really serve much of a purpose, and Super Mario 64, they d it didn't really have anything in it at all. But, I have no idea where I'm going with this, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. Anyway, we just solved the puzzle by changing the water levels of this room, and or these rooms, rather. And I like how the door just, like, goes all the way up halfway to the ceiling, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I was glitching, I couldn't go up or down with Susie, just left and right. That was totally weird. Anyway, I solved that puzzle, it's an easy, easy, easy puzzle, no complex anything to it at all, you just have to like, yeah, you just do things. Uh, not hard at all, you just, takes a long time, that's what I was trying to say there. And... Uh, uh, at least I get to show a fight with one of these guys. These are... I forget what they're called. Bombshell Bills. Okay, they have more HP than Bullet Bills, and they have more attack. But no defense still, I think. Oops. Oh, I didn't even get the action command. I was trying to do Lackey Lester's Spiny Flip action command. I'm like, come on, why isn't the target coming up? So I was holding right the entire time. And these things are... Something that I can't hurt, apparently. I'm going to use Wad because she breaks her defense because she's awesome. They are Bombshell Bill Blasters. Ooh, how exciting is that? I'm going to go ahead and Star Storm because I know that I'm not going to be able to do crap to these guys. It's probably smart to have the D-Down Pound badge on here so that you can kill them pretty easily. Anyway, 7 damage because Skolar is amazing. You know what I've always thought? It is... Is... Is Watt, like, supposed to be the sun or something? I know she's, like, an electrical charge, but she looks exactly like a sun, so... What if she was, like, the child of the evil sun that's trying to kill you in Super Mario Bros. 3? It's always like, grrr, I'm gonna kill you, and this... And he, like, abandoned his baby, and... His baby got caught by a lantern ghost and then rescued by Mario, and I'm making no sense, and I'm not gonna write a fanfic on camera. That would be pretty embarrassing. But, let's continue up these stairs, try not to get hit by those things, and first strike. Probably useless to get a first strike on these guys, because... And I forgot to put the... Frick. D-Down Pound badge on, oh well, whatever. I guess that gives me more bombshell bills to get more... Experience on. Experience, not experience. Experience. Because I'm just that cool. Um... Multi-bounce would probably be useful to have so that you could kill all the bombshell bills at once, but... Yeah. Alright. Um... Guess I could do this. You can... I don't think timeout or paralysis works on these guys. I'm not positive on that, but... So yeah, you're basically just gonna want to keep hammering them with Watt. As gross as that, as that may or may not sound. Depending on how... Um... I, I don't even know where I was going with that. I was trying to be... I was trying to be entertaining. I'm sorry, guys. I'll never try to do that again. I know it's impossible. <laughs> anyway... Let's continue up this next staircase. And guess what we get? Oh, yay. Oh, joy. I am so happy. Oh, boy. There's another set of bombshell bill blasters after this one. And I think I'm going to cut this fight. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to cut this part right here because we've got a little bit done in this part. So, we solved that puzzle. Came to these bombshell build blasters. And this is the last one. I'm going to tell you right here, right now. I will see you guys in the next part where we continue through Bowser's Castle and destroy the last set of bombshell build blasters. See you then.